Welcome to Knock Survives and I'm back in Minecraft and today I'm going to be showing you how I built this temple in creative mode so come on my friends let's get creative so here we are back in Minecraft and uh, this video has been a long time coming but um, the reason I've waited so long is because I wanted to get the uh, replay mod up and going. Um, and this is actually a Patreon build for my wife, in fact, who is digitally known as Aya Kitsune or Seance. Uh, you may know her as either of those names or you may know, not know her at all. So, but um, this is her Patreon build. And I should have done this a long time ago, but I wanted to make it a really good build and... I did want to film it as well, so here we go. I finally got this replay mod going. Uh, I'm not very good at that technical side of things, so um, it took me a while to get it going. I tried once and gave up because I couldn't do it, but here we go. This is uh, me building in the replay mod, and you should be seeing lots more of these videos coming because uh, I like to do playing in creative and building things. And it'll be nice to show you um, how I built it and my um, process of building things. Because I built it all in freestyle. Um, there's nothing done on tutorials or anything. So this is just me working it out as I go and trying to come up with some sort of Japanese temple. Um, I usually have some sort of picture that I get a guide from. So like a real life picture I'll use. And for this one... Um, I used some various Japanese temples, one in Kyoto, 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 something like that. Um, but yeah, there we go. This is um, this is the Japanese temple. So I basically started off with um, the posts around the outside, and then built in that white wall on the inside. Done the first layer, and then built up that roof because that is the most important part of a Japanese building is getting that roof right with the angled corners going up. Um, and then I put in the second roof with the pitched roof uh, and tried to get that at a nice good slanting angle. And I'm happy with that. So then I went round the back and filled in the back, done some detailing around windows. Um, and yeah, it's coming on quite nicely. Put a fence around the outside. So usually I'd put a, something over the top of um, the uh, balcony there. But I thought, no, I'm going to stick with this as it is. So I built the roof of the second floor all the way across, knowing I was going to build this third floor on there. But I just wanted to get the line going all the way across properly. So then I went along, built this second floor up, just put a basic um, pitched roof on the top and finishing off with those uh, oriental style corners that lift out. And and there, that's the actual building done. I'm not going to be doing any of the inside, um, but now I'm going to do some little extra bits on the sides here, kind of like a pag pagola. And um, I'm going to do that. What I want to do is add a few couple of dragons here. Now I did one um, off camera and now I'm going to show you how I do it step by step. You can always um, slow this down to see exactly how I make it. But it's just done with stairs and blocks and um, slabs. It's nice and easy. Um, I didn't want to do anything too difficult. They're statues. They're not supposed to be a recreation of a dragon. So there we go, and I'll do a little Tory arch here. They're really simple to do. And now I'm gonna carry on doing this. Now I wanted to do, um, lower this. I, I built up the ground and realized that I'd like it a bit lower. And a little step up to these pergolas and have a little gardens out the front, which I want to slightly lower than um, the actual buildings. So here we go, I'm just going to put in a pathway here, build up the grass again in the correct position. And then along the path, I'll just add a few um, lamps just to make it nice and lit up. 
So into the pergola, I'm going to make a little tea room. Just put a table and some um, bench stools, I suppose. Cushions, maybe. And some plants. A couple of rugs. I did the rug as like a Japanese flag. Uh, just to give that feel, Japanese feel. And there we go. Now I'm going to do some gardens. Put a pond as the feature. And just scatter a few um, plants. I choose my style of plant. So I've chosen the lilac. Um, a few oxy daisies and aliums I think I used and same for the other side I didn't want to copy it make it the same just a little different but pond with a little path going around and around the edge just scatter a few um, leaves to make it look like bushes and then on the walls I'm just dropping down some some gravel because they uh, fall to the ground, so just using that, scattering them around, kind of randomly. And there we go. So it gives it a nice little look of um, being on top of a hill. And then, I'm not going to do much of the insides. I'm going to leave this blank for now. I might put some in, more insides in. But the ones you can see from the outside, I'm just going to put for a few statues around there. And on the inside there, I just put a few trapdoors to make it look like um, a Japanese feel inside. So it's just not blank as you look through the doors. And there we go. We're just going to finish off around um, the edges here. Just so it's not a um, very hard looking wall, a harsh angle. Put in a wall again, same as I did on the pathway. And then I've put in this wooden planks just to finish it all off. And there we go. That's um, the temple pretty much finished now. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, please let me know below. Um, I'd like to know if you'd like to see me do some more of these uh, creative builds. And um, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.